It's Tuesday. <laughs> We're here. Yay. Oh, yay, yay, yay. So glad to be able to do this. All right. So sitting up in our chairs or our chair. Yeah, that. And let's go ahead and sit towards the center or the front just so that our feet can be flat on the floor and beginning to sit ourselves up nice and tall. So thinking about, I like to think about my skeleton, just putting everything back in place. So thinking about lengthening up through the torso, stacking vertebrae, those legs, feet are pressed into the floor or carpet or whatever you've got beneath you, mat, and then right up through our shin bones, right through our legs right up through our torso, right up through that neck to the crown of the head. So sitting that up nice and tall. Hands can be on thighs, they can be hanging off to the side, whatever works for you. But trying to, we're gonna try and start making some space between our shoulders and our ears. So lengthening through that neck. Let's begin by dropping our chin towards our chest and keeping our shoulders away from our ears. So you might be able to do that just with your hands on your thighs, or it might be helpful to let your arms dangle to your side and let gravity do some work here because gravity pulling your hands down may help with that. And then go ahead and lift our head up to center. Lift our chin up and eyes to sky. And then go ahead and drop that chin down to chest. And lift that head to center and eyes to sky, chin to chest, and eyes to sky. And bring that head back to neutral. Let's look over to the right. So think about our chin going over towards our shoulder, keeping our shoulder back and away. And then looking to the left, same thing, keeping our shoulder back and away, chin going to shoulder, not shoulder going to chin so that we're still having to lift and keep our spine up nice and tall. Bring that back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. Look to the right and then look to the left. And center. Let's drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Maybe release that left arm if you want. Kind of let that dangle. Oh, that feels good today. Right there. And then let's take our right hand and place it right above that left ear. So just a gentle pressure. You don't even have to put barely any pressure there. Just put the simple weight. Yeah. And then let's release that, lift that head back to center and drop it to the other side. So left ear is gonna go to left shoulder and maybe if you want, release that right arm. Oh, I feel that feeling in my neck today. And let's go ahead and take our hands or hand, left hand, right above that right ear. Good. And then release that. Very nice. Let's roll our shoulders back. Let's go and roll that out. Rolling the shoulders back and around. And then let's go ahead and roll that forward. Roll shoulders forward and roll that back and roll that forward. Let's go ahead and take right shoulder, roll the right shoulder back, just a nice big roll and take that kind of slow so that you feel that rotation. Good, let's take it to the other side. Roll that left shoulder back. Just a nice slow roll. And one more time, roll that back. Good, now let's do, go right and roll that forward. And roll that forward, give that shoulder and, and roll that forward. Good, let's take it to the other side, roll that forward and forward and forward. Very nice, shake that out. Let's do a few sun breaths here. So let's inhale, sweep our arms up. And exhale it out. And sweep up. And exhale it out. And sweep our arms up. 
As we exhale, let's drop our right hand to the right side of the chair. Reach over with the left. Yeah, that feels good. And breathe. Good. Let's inhale, sweep that right arm up. And then as we exhale, let's drop our left hand to the left side of the chair and reach over. That feels good too. And breathe. And let's go ahead and inhale, sweep our left hand up, clasp our hands, press our palms towards the ceiling as we do that exhale. And go ahead, make some space here. So if you want to tilt it, rock it a little bit, rock it front to back. So make some space for your torso, make some space through your arms, make some space up through that rib cage. Maybe drop that chin a little bit, lift that head up center, get that nice and lengthened. And let's do our side breath. So let's inhale deeply here and exhale big side out. Two more times, inhale it here. And exhale, big sigh out. And one more inhale here. And exhale, big sigh out. Good, bring those arms out or in front of you, yes. And stop hands. Let's go ahead, take our right palm, take our left hand, Right palm is faced out, <laughs> fingers, we're pulling them back. Words, they are hard sometimes. <laughs> oh, that feels good too. And then let's go ahead, stop that right hand, make a stop hand, and then just gentle pull back on those fingers. Good, now let's do the other side. So palm facing out and up. Wow, why is that such a good stretch today? I have a feeling everything's going to be a good stretch today. I keep moving. I'm like, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Let's go ahead and take that and pull that back. Hands out. Let's rotate our wrists. Yeah, and rotate the other way. Just having those arms out, that's strength right there, having to hold that up. And then, of course, your core, because you're not sitting against the back of the chair. So let's take our arms out to our side. So we see them in our peripheral vision. So it's a wide V. Take our palms up, make some fists, roll our fists. <laughs> I feel that. Roll our fists in towards our wrist. And then let's go ahead and roll this into this exaggerated bicep curl. Let's do a little bit of seated cat and cow. So let's go ahead. Open this up, get that nice uh, arch here. And then let's go ahead and round, take our chin to chest. And I stretched extra this morning after my bike ride because I was like, I'm not going to go through yoga being like, oh my gosh, that feels so good the whole day. <laughs> and I just open this up <laughs> and then round that. Apparently, I didn't stretch the right spots. Open this up. And then around that. And open this up. Oh, yeah. And then round that. Go ahead and open that up. Open those arms. Open our palms. Take our palms facing down and gently press that down. Good. Roll those shoulders out. Roll that forward. A few breaths here. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale it out. And inhale, sweep that up. And exhale out. Let's do a little bit of a tiny spinal twist first, and then we'll do a bigger spinal twist. So let's take our left hand to our right thigh, right hand either to the right side of your chair, or you can reach to the, the seat, the back seat of your chair, or the top back seat of your chair. And let's spinal twist here. <laughs> and breathe, inhale. And exhale. And inhale again. And exhale it out. Bring it back to center. Let's switch sides. 
right hand to our left thigh. Left hand is either going to go to the outside back of the chair or seat of the chair. A little spinal twist here. And we'll do a bigger one in. But let's breathe this here. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale it again. And exhale it. Good. Go ahead and take this back to center. Take our legs. Turn them to the right. So let's go to the right side of that chair. Reach up through our arms. Let's lengthen up through that spine. Take our hands, palms of our hands, and let's reach for the back of our chair. So using the leverage, holding onto the back of the chair, you can spinal twist as deep as you want here. Oh, and inhale it here. And exhale it out. And again, big deep inhale. And exhale that out. Wonderful. Let's reach our arms back up to center, lengthen back up through that. And then we can release that. Bring our legs back to center and then let's go over to the other side. So let's take our legs to the left, seated on the left side. Reach our arms up, lengthen up through our torso. Let's take the palms of our hands and reach for the back of our chair. <laughs> and use that back of the chair as leverage for this wonderful twist. Twist as deep as you want here. And let's breathe, inhale. And exhale. And inhale it again. And exhale. Wonderful. Reach that up and then release that. Bring our legs forward. Let's scoot ourselves forward, bring ourselves forward a little bit more. We're gonna take our left leg straight, right leg, right foot or ankle is just right there on that shin. Let's go ahead and hinge this forward. Very first little um, hip flexor hinge. So hinging that and really good beginning hamstring stretch for the back of the left leg. And then let's bring this up and switch sides. So nice straight right leg. Take our left foot, left ankle, and let's hinge it forward here and breathe. Very nice, and bring that up, good. You can scoop back a little bit, not all the way yet, because we're gonna go ahead and go into our staff pose. So let's go ahead and reach up through our legs. So lengthen up through our legs, both of our legs, sitting this up nice and tall, sitting right there on our sits bones, but not against the back of the chair, starting to engage that core even more. And let's reach up through our arms. Let's inhale it here and exhale it out. And again, inhale it here and exhale it out. And one more time, inhale here and exhale out. Good, release our arms down. Let's do a little bit of a hamstring curl and a leg extension. So keep our feet flexed as we curl this in and extend it out. Bring this in and extend. Bring this in and extend. There was three. Bring it in, curl it in, and extend. I need to keep my feet super flexed. Bring this in. There's five. Curling it in and extend. Six. Curl it in and extend. There's seven. Curl it in and extend. There's eight. Very nice. Shake that out a little bit. Scoot ourselves back forward. Take your blocks to where you want them for our seated sun salutations. So oh, now I've got our legs warmed up. Blocks where you want them. If you're using blocks for seated sun salutations, sit it up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and inhale, sweep our arms up, and then let's dive it down and over our seated forward fold. Feel free always if you need to. 
If you need some support here on the thighs, feel free to use a pillow or a blanket or rolled up mat, whatever you need to, if you need that. That can help um, with the hip flexors. It can also help if you've got some lower back discomfort that can help with that as well. Let's take our hands right there to our blocks. We're in our seated forward fold. Let's inhale and lengthen through our arms, lengthen through our spine. Just right there. Getting as long here as you can. Crown of the head is lifting up towards the ceiling. Tailbone is down towards the chair. Seat of the chair. Nice and long spine. And then release this into that forward fold. Let's inhale, lengthen again. Exhale and release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale and lengthen. Let's hold this here. As we're holding, you can exhale. Let's press our right hand into our block. Twist opening with the left and breathe. And you have options with your twisting open. Go to where your mobility will let you. Or if your arm is having trouble, you can always have your hand right there on your lowest rib. That can just assist you in twisting the oh, torso open, the rib cage open, and breathing. Let's go ahead and release this into that forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through those arms. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up nice and big. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Hold this here. We're going to do our right side against our right hand on the block. Pressing right hand. And you can exhale while we're lengthened here. And twist open again, once again, to the left. And however that twist works for you, wherever your mobility is letting you go, but trying to keep our right hand pressed into the block, feet into the, into the floor, yes. And then release this into that forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Hold this here. Exhale that breath. Let's take our left hand, place it onto that block, and let's twist open. Again, wherever your mobility is going to let you go, but trying to balance this. So if you are were able to get mobile on the other side, try and get as mobile on this side. Try and get to that same height. I'm recognizing that I am not, and that's okay. Just the recognition of it is helpful. That there might be some impingement going on on the side. Let's go ahead and release that, relax that head and neck. Inhale and lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up again. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale and lengthen. Lengthen through arms, lengthen through spine. Hold this here and exhale while we're holding. Let's press our left hand back into block and twist that back up. And breathe into this final twist. And then release that, relax. Inhale and lengthen through spine. Exhale and release. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Sit up tall. Shoulders down and back, lengthen up through our spine. Let's get ready for hip hinge. Inhale here. And nice deep hip hinge right here. And then let's go ahead and twist this 
So we get our seated spinal twist. Our right elbow or right tricep is trying to get over to that left thigh, pressing our palms together. Strong seated spinal twist here and breathe. Maybe looking at those fingers or maybe looking up towards the ceiling. And maybe letting that head like dangle a little bit. That might feel, feel good because you are basically at an inversion here. Your head is pretty much lower than your heart. And then let's go ahead and bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. So sitting it up nice and tall. It's kind of a seated mountain pose right here, sitting this up. And let's go ahead and inhale. As we exhale, let us hinge this forward and twist to the other side. So seated spinal twist. Oh, that feels good. Try to get that left elbow, left tricep to that right thigh. And breathing here. And again, maybe on this side, looking, oh, that feels good, yeah. Looking up towards the ceiling or looking at your hands. Maybe allowing that head to kind of fall a little bit so that you get a little bit of an inversion. Wow. And then bring that back to center. Inhale and sweep those arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale and release. Good. You can move those blocks. Still seated at the center of our chair. Lengthen through our right leg. So let's go ahead and lengthen through this. Rotate our ankle. Good. And then rotate the other way. Very nice. Release that. Let's take it to the other side. Lengthen through our left leg. Rotate the ankle. And rotate the other way. Good, and release that. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up. As we exhale, we're gonna either reach for the back of the chair or clasp your hands behind you. So let's open up that chest. Maybe twisting that head a little bit. Let's go ahead and look to the right. And then look to the left. Head back to center, drop our chin to chest. and lift that head up to center. Go ahead and release those arms. Shake that out, roll the shoulders back and roll that forward. We're gonna do that one more time. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. As we exhale, either clasping the back of the chair or clasping your hands. Let's open that chest again. A little bit slight arching of the back. And this time let's go ahead and look to the left and look to the right and head back to center, drop our chin to chest. And lift that head center and release those arms. Shake that out, roll that out, very good. And now you can sit up against the back of the chair. Let's go ahead and take our right leg, bring our right leg in, give our right leg a nice big hug. So good, so good. Doing that a big hug, let's wrap our left arm around our right leg and let's go ahead and twist it to the right side. Very good, and breathe. And then let's go ahead and twist it towards the inside. So if you want, like I like to use my tricep here and my elbow to kind of push my inner leg away to get a little bit more of a stretch in the hip flexor. 
area of that right side. Good, let's bring this back to center. Let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto our left side. And begin to, you just have a few moments here to start to hinge that forward before your shoulders start to round. So start to work on that hip hinge with just that single leg. So this piriformis stretch, figure four stretch. And so finding that spot right before those shoulders start to round and then sit it up nice and tall. So let's sit it up tall against the back of the chair and we'll add in breath and movement. So let's inhale deeply here and exhale, hinge this forwardly with that chest. Inhale it up tall and exhale, hinge this forwardly with that chest. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge that forward. And one more time, inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge that forward. Wonderful. Oh, bring that back to center. Good, let's take it to half shoelace. So let's go ahead and take our right foot, right heel, to the left corner of the chair. Let's wrap that left arm back around that right leg and let's twist it <laughs> to the right. Oh, yeah, that hip joint, the outer and that glute medius, glute maximus, hamstring, IT band, getting all of it, all that fun stuff. And then let's go ahead and twist it towards the inside. Nice, and bring that back to center and release that leg, shave that out. Let's grab that left leg, bring that in, and we'll do the same thing we just did on this other side. So give that a nice big hug, sitting up against the back of the chair. Let's wrap our right arm around and twist to the left and breathe. And then twist it towards the inside. And bring that back to center. And let's go ahead and take our ankle, place it on our right thigh, and work on our piriformis, figure four, on this side. So sitting this up tall, hinging this forward just before those shoulders start to round. So a few moments here just to figure out where your hinge is on this side. To let the nausea go away. <laughs> just for... Oh, yeah. And then let's go ahead and add in that breathing and movement. So let's sit up tall against the back of the chair. Inhale it here deeply. And let's exhale, leave with that chest, hinge it forward. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge it forward. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge it forward. And inhale, let up tall. And exhale, hinge forward. Wonderful. Bring that back to center. And let's go ahead and go half shoelace. So let's take that left heel to that right corner of the chair. Wrap around. Oh. And twist and breathe into this great stretch right here. It's really good. And let's breathe it or twist it towards the other side and breathe it while we're twisting here. And 
and bring that back to center. Good. And shape that out. Very nice. Let's take ourselves over to the left side of our chair. Give our right leg that chair. And then let's take our left leg behind us. We'll go into our supported crescent. So taking that left leg behind us, keep our left heel lifted. Right leg is in front of us. Nice 90 degree angle. Got that 90 degrees going on. Supported by that chair. Wonderful crescent right here. Nice supported crescent. Feels good. Lengthen up through our fingers. Make our arms nice and tall. Make our torso nice and tall. Let's go ahead and take our right hand, drop that to the seat of the chair, and let's lengthen over, reach over with that left arm. And breathe. Such a good one. Remember to keep our back leg active. It's really easy. I'm always like, I tell you this because I'm reminding myself. Because <laughs> I'm always like, oh yeah, keep it active. Keep that back foot flexed. And then let's go ahead and take our hands right to our hips and do a little bit of a twist here. Oh yeah. Good, and bring that back to center. We can take our leg off to the side and we're gonna give our right leg the rest of the chair, the, seat, the rest of the seat. Take our left leg off to the side. Ankle is neutral, so it can be so it can be facing the front, to the side, whatever works for you. Let's lengthen up through our torso here. So reaching up, now getting more of an inner thigh stretch. Before we were getting that, with that crescent behind us, we were getting that hip flexor, that quadricep, that hamstring. Now we're getting more of inner thigh, maybe a little bit more calf. Let's go ahead and drop our right hand again to the seat of the chair and lengthen over again but maybe getting nice and longer here because we've got our leg out to the side. So we can get that nice long line. Breathe. Good windmill, our left arm to our left thigh, reach our right arm over and breathe that one. Amazing how that breath just expands everything. And then when you're contracting, releases everything, loosens everything up. Good, go ahead and release that. Let's go into our uh, supported pigeon. So let's turn ourselves. We've got that front leg supported, back leg again. We've got that kind of crescent leg going on and we wanna keep that active. So let's keep our heel lifted. Let's lengthen up here again through our arms, reaching up through our torso, and then we're gonna forward fold it. So forward folding, you can either be on those hands, you can be on those elbows, or you can use support of the block, or if you can do it, just you can dangle, or you can have your hands touch the floor. It's where your flexibility, your mobility is gonna let you go. And remembering, because we're supported here, it's really easy for to forget that back leg, to forget that straightened leg. So maybe by pressing your toes into the floor and constantly remembering to press those toes, you'll be able to keep that back leg active and not just drooping or falling asleep. Oh yeah. And just enjoy this. Another piriformis stretch. We're still, this is still a form of a figure four, but this pigeon. Let's go ahead and bring ourselves back up, lengthen back up through our arms, reach back up through that wonderful, and then release that. Good. Let's take our leg, right leg off to the side. Finding, we'll get into some warriors. So finding our warrior two legs, supported warrior two. So that right leg is in that nice 90 degree angle out to the side, left leg is behind us, but our toe, our foot is inwards. So we've got that nice warrior stance. Let's take our arms out, relax our face, strong arms, strong face, actually strong arms, strong body, relaxed face. So relax the mouth, 
the jaw, the eyebrows and the forehead. Relax that, but everything else is strong here. Let's go ahead and go into Proud Warrior or Reverse Warrior. Drop our back arm, take our palm up, Peaceful Warrior or Reverse Warrior. And from this reverse warrior, let's take ourselves into strong side angle pose. So let's take our right arm to our right thigh. Left arm comes right by our side, or yeah, right by our um, bicep, is right by that temple, forehead, or ear. Strong right here. And release ourselves back into Proud Warrior. And then release that down. Very nice. Let's do everything we just did. Do it on the other side. So let's move ourselves over to the right side of the chair. Give our left leg that right side, that, that whole chair. So the left leg is the chair now. Take our right leg behind us and let's find crescent on this side. So find that nice 90 degree front. Back leg is behind you. Back heel is lifted. Active leg. Strong crescent here. Oh, feels very good, especially for that hip flexor. Let's take our left hand, drop that down, reach this over. Not forgetting to breathe. Deep inhaling, deep exhaling. And then let's go ahead and make both of our hands right there to our hips. Come and give ourselves a little twist. Right. And bring that back to center. Good. Let's give our left leg the rest of the chair. And take our right leg off to the side. And ankle is neutral. So finding that and lengthening up through that. We're reaching up through our arms. Very good. And let's go ahead and drop that left hand back down and reach this over. I don't know about you, but this side is always much tighter or almost stiffer than the other side, but you might be able to, you might be just as mobile on both sides. But if you're tighter on one side than on the other, very normal, that's with everything. That's why we do this, so that we um, get flexible on both sides equally and that we don't promote injury. So let's go ahead and lengthen up, back up through this, drop our arm, reach this over. Oh, that's good. And what's that? Let's go ahead and take it into our pigeon. So turning ourselves, keep our back heel lifted, keep our toes pressed into the floor, active, active leg. Reach back up through this. You might be able to even get a little bit of arm extension. And then let's go ahead and forward fold. So your forward fold might be on your hands, it might be on your elbows, or it might be all the way forward. Use whatever you would like for support. And breathe and keep that back leg active. Keep those toes pressing into the floor. Press ourselves back up, reach back up through those arms. And then go ahead and release that. Good, let's take our leg, left leg off to the side and find our warrior, proud warriors, warrior legs right here. And breathe. Relax that face. Everything else is strong here. Strong legs. 
Strong arms, strong torso. Good, let's drop that back arm, take our palm up. Peaceful warrior. And I take this to side angle. And then bring ourselves back up. Very nice. And release that. Good. Let's keep our hips open. Let's do a little bit more twisting towards the inside. Take our blocks to the inner thigh or inner feet. And let's twist open. Oh, that's good. To one side. And release. And then let's go ahead and twist open to the other side. And good, let's bring our legs together. Have our blocks with us because we're gonna go into our standing forward fold, first standing forward fold. Press our feet into floor, press our hands into blocks and let's lift our glutes up off of our chair into our standing forward fold, letting those legs just stretch behind us. Not behind us, but you know, you know what I mean. Backs of our legs stretching. Relax that head and neck. Maybe nod the head, shake the head. Very good. Take a seat. So go ahead and take a seat back in the chair and let's sweep our arms up. Big inhale. Exhale, dive it down and over. Hands back to blocks. Lift our glutes up off of the chair. Standing forward, fold. Take a seat. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over, hands to blocks, and lift our glutes up off the chair. Standing forward, fold. One more time, take a seat. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Lift our glutes up off of the chair. Nice standing forward fold. And you can kind of, if you want to grab those blocks, move them a little bit in front of you. We're going to keep ourselves in our standing forward fold. You can walk those feet in a little bit closer to one another, pressing our heels into the floor. Hands are in the blocks. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen through our spine. Flat back. Nice tabletop. Exhale and release. Head's been low, so take it nice and slow as we bring ourselves up. Inhale and sweep those arms up. Take that slow. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, flat back. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Keeping ourselves standing as we exhale, we're just going to release our arms to our sides. Very good. Let's go ahead and do some standing balance work with the chair. So let's turn that chair around. Actually, let's go ahead and do um, a modified down dog just for our shoulders. So that in our chest and shoulders. So let's take the backs or take our hands to the back of the chair, flatten through our spine. Oh, yeah. And then relax that head and neck in between those shoulders. Yes. And get that beautiful stretch in the chest, in the armpits, in the backs of the shoulders, in the back, in the hamstrings. I feel this super duper in my hamstrings. Very good. And calves. Very nice. And then let's go ahead and bring that up. Good. All right. Let's go into dancer first. So let's take our left hand right onto the back of the chair. Let's reach our right hand for our right foot. First part of dancer. So right here, a nice quadricep stretch. Now we can leave this here, sitting that standing this up nice and tall, or we can begin to hinge forward 
and kick our foot, not kick our foot, press our foot, keep our foot into our hand and lengthen through the arm. So we're kind of lengthening arm, lengthening leg, hinging forward. Oh, yes, getting that wonderful dancer right there. And the hamstring stretch on that straight leg. So quadricep on the, on the right, hamstring on the left, wonderful. From this dancer, let's hinge ourselves up nice and tall again, back to regular. And then let's go ahead and take our foot, take it around into piriformis. So let's take that foot right there onto that left thigh, piriformis stretch or <laughs> single-legged seated stretch. Oh, yeah. Feeling that one in bowl. That's good. Very good. And then go ahead and release that. Good. Shake that out. Now, you can stay close to your chair or you can walk a little bit away because we're going to go into tree. So we've got everything opened up now. And we'll practice tree. So we've got our straight leg still. So our left leg is our straight leg still. We are um, going to be bringing ourselves to our tree. But whatever your tree is on this side, remember it needs to be the same on the other side. So don't be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go here. And then, oh yeah, but I can't do it on that side. Do the same on both sides so you don't cause injury. So find where your tree is at or this side. And you can use the support of the chair or you can begin to work on that balance. Think about pressing our pelvis forward, squeezing our glutes, opening that knee up so that that rib cage can open up as well. Shoulders can open up. So that tree is open. And breathe. Wonderful. And then let's go ahead, release that leg, shake that out. Let's do a standing forward fold. So sweep our arms up, nice big mountain. Exhale, dive it down. And good standing forward fold right there. Very nice. And then one vertebrae at a time. Let's roll our spine up. Take this standing roll up. Oh, yeah. And roll our shoulders down. Good. Let's take it to the other side. So let's go ahead and go with the dancer on our other side. So right hand is gonna hold that chair. Left hand, let's reach our left hand back for our foot. Quadricep stretch here first. Wonderful. And then standing up tall, beginning to hinge ourselves forward, lengthen through our arm, lengthen through our leg. The more that you hinge forward and the more that you lengthen on that left side, the more you're going to get that hamstring stretch on that right side. Keep breathing here. And then let's bring ourselves back up nice and tall, hinging that forward. And then let's go ahead and take it to piriformis on this side. So taking that left ankle to that right thigh, seated, single leg, single leg seated pose. I was like seated, single leg seated, yeah. Single leg seated pose. Ooh. And breathe. Breathe deep. And then let's go ahead and stand that up and then you can release that. And we'll move into tree on the other side. So you can walk away from that chair or you can stay in the chair, whatever is working for you. Let's plant that right foot, right leg, and then find our left side of tree. So wherever your right leg was, try and work the same with your left, trying to find that balance, trying to, 
press that pelvis forward while squeezing those glutes and open up that knee. We're going to open all of that up. And breathing. Keep breathing. And let's go ahead and release that good. Shake that out. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. And then roll that up. While we've got the chair here and while we're doing our, um, while we're doing the hard stuff, while we're doing the, the uh, standing, let's go ahead and do a half moon pose. So let's take ourselves, let's see, left side. So left hand is going to go on the chair. Left leg is going to be nice and close to that chair. And let's go ahead and lift our right leg up. You can take your hand either to your rib cage or you can lift that hand up. So finding just a nice half moon here. Working balance. Very good. Trying to open up instead of close off. So that might mean if you're, even if you're like in the little pizza pie right here, that's perfect. Think about chest open. And taking your head to lift towards the sky, that immediately opens that up automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. And then let's go ahead and release that. Good, shake that out and we'll go the other side. So right hand on the chair, right foot is planted on the floor, and then let's begin to lift our left leg and find half moon on this other side. And think about rib cage, chest twisting open. Even if your leg is closer to the floor. That's our, our big thing here is to have that rib cage twisting open, chest twisting open, so that it can take, it can go down into those hips to twist that open. But doing opposite of what we would normally be doing, where our, where our body would normally rest. And then let's go ahead and release that. Good, shake that out, very nice. You can move that chair off to the side. Gather whatever you need for, for final relaxation because that's where we're going to go. We're going to take ourselves to the short edge of our mat. Let's inhale, sweep our arms up. Nice tall mountain pose. Exhale, dive it down and over. Let's take both of our feet back into a top of plank. Drop down to our knees. Back into a wonderful little child's pose right here. Oh, yeah. Nice child's pose. Breathe in this child's pose. Hands by our knees. Press ourselves up. Let's roll over onto our backs and go into a few moments of a final stretch, final relaxation. So grab what you need for that. If you've got your eye pillow, regular pillow, blanket, you can grab whatever you need. You can put that eye pillow over your eyes as we lengthen our bodies, reaching our arms towards one end of the room reaching our feet and legs towards the other end, lifting that low back up off of the floor, maybe pointing and flexing those feet, whatever feels natural for you, maybe even rotating the ankles. But add just a lot of length to your body right here. Oh, yeah. And maybe you've got that eye pillow over your eyes, so you've got that nice heaviness and darkness, just the heaviness over the face. Let's inhale deeply here. And let's exhale, sink, and settle. Let those feet open. You can let your arms open off to the side. Begin to slow everything down. Everything quiet. 
begin to relax. Relax your face, relax your jaw. A few moments here. Relaxing. Let's bend our knees and tuck our tailbone under. Let that low back press into the floor. Drop both of those knees over to your side, the most comfortable side. Take yourself onto your side. And then we're slowly going to press ourselves up, bring ourselves up into a seated pose that feels strong and supportive for you. Sit that tall length and up through your spine. Oh uh, yeah, let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our palms together. As we exhale, our eyes fall, our fingers take our chin to chest. Lift our head center, take fingers to forehead. As we leave today, let us think thoughts of truth. Take our fingers to our lips. As we leave today, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be light of truth and a light of love having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, a sound and peaceful mind. Big, deep inhale. And the cleansing exhale. Let's breathe that in one more time. Deep inhale. And big cleansing exhale. And have a wonderful rest of your day. And we will see you 